SAFM, South Africa's news and information leader. Hawks nab Limpopo businesswoman on fraud and corruption charges and accuracy of HIV AIDS figures raised in Parliament. Good evening. The Hawks, assisted by Limpopo police, have arrested a businesswoman for fraud and corruption in Pulukwane. Provincial Police Commissioner Eamon Moshejo says the suspects allegedly took money as administration fees from people who loaned money from her. Police haven't released the details of the charges. He says police will confiscate some of her properties. The charges that we are looking at, it is fraud and corruption. cannot quantify the amount, but we are looking at a huge amount. Because there are people here, witnesses, which are also our complainants, that she paid them with checks that bounced to the bank. A robber thought to have been terrorizing Santon residents north of Johannesburg since 2010 has been arrested. Police say the 31-year-old Zimbabwean national has been linked to 19 house robberies. He was arrested at a pawn shop in Hillbrow where he was selling stolen goods. His car was also seized. Police say the shop owner, Nigerian, has also been arrested for buying the stolen items. The National Assembly has heard that South Africa may not know how many people are infected with HIV-AIDS in the country. Addressing the House during a debate on access to health, ID MP Hanif Husson told MPs that the country's HIV-AIDS figures could be much lower than what is currently reflected. The country's reported estimated overall HIV prevalence rate is over 10%. Husson says all the previous and current figures on HIV-AIDS may be wrong. There is a very real possibility that we do not know exactly how many people are infected with HIV-AIDS in South Africa because we are unable to detect duplication in testing. Many patients visit more than one testing center in order to get a second opinion. And because we are unable to detect whether or not a patient has visited more than one center, that data is not reliable. The recent figures on testing announced by the minister is also not reliable. This was confirmed this morning by the CEO of the National Health Laboratory Service. President Jacob Zuma says he's satisfied with the progress made by the presidential Eastern Cape Education Task Team. Zuma announced this after a meeting with the team in Cape Town to assess progress made in restoring education in that province. The task team of national cabinet ministers and provincial MECs presented a plan of action on the major areas of deficiency to the president. Zuma established the task team following his education monitoring visit to the Eastern Cape in June this year. An Angolan military aircraft has crashed after takeoff from the central city of Oambo, killing at least three generals. The state news agency says 30 of the 36 passengers have died, but no official toll has been released. It is not clear what caused the accident, but most of those on board are believed to be Air Force officers. Correspondents say the aircraft was a jet recently purchased by the army from Brazil to transport senior officials. International aid agency Oxfam says immediate relief must be provided to millions of people affected by floods in southern Pakistan or more lives will be lost. The BBC's Jill McGivering. Oxfam is now launching an emergency response to get aid to millions of people affected by the floods in Sindh province. Hundreds of thousands of people have fled their homes and are in desperate need of food and shelter. This growing crisis is already being compared to last year's floods, which caused devastation. Some aid workers say the situation in Sindh is becoming just as bad. The floods are the result of ten days of torrential rain, which is still falling, compounding the misery and chaos. The top story at eight o'clock, the Hawks, assisted by Limpopo police, have arrested a businesswoman for fraud and corruption in Polokwane.